Welcome back everyone. Here I have some more Pirate Famicom games. Here is another foreign one. Spider-Man, Kickmaster, Bubble Bobble 2. Yes, it is Bubble Bobble 2, the rare NES game. And Snow Bros. This is probably my best pirated Famicom game just, just because of D Bubble Bobble 2. Because that game can go for over a hundred bucks. Easily. Uh-oh. Let me try this again. There we go, that sounds better. Um. So. One is Spider-Man. That's the LJN version. The one with the terrible controls. Which I'll show in a second here. I'm trying to get those lines out of the way. is good music, but if the controls were better, maybe it'd be better of a game. Snow Brother. Nick Tom. This is an actual game, so. One player. It's the Japanese version. Now, I haven't checked up on this game before, previously, to see if it was rare or not. So, someone fill me in. Tell me if this game is rare. Or if it's very common, because I don't know. That. Then there's Bubble Dragon, which is Bubble Bubble 2. Now this, this is a very rare Nintendo game. Goes for over $100, just for the American version. And I picked up this cart for 4 bucks, plus for 50 shipping, so... Bubble Bubble 2, they changed the title screen, I'm pretty sure, but... It's Bubble Bubble 2, the actual game. No problems. It's a cheap way to play such an awesome, yet rare game. That's great. Whoops. And then there's Kickmaster. I haven't checked up on this game either. It's by Taito or Taito, however you want to pronounce it. Now this is also a very good game. Every game made by Taito is a good game. Graphics are pretty good for the Nintendo. So, so overall, this is probably my best pirate I own because it has three good games, two of them being very good, Bubble Bobble and Kickmaster. Spider-Man not being that good. And it's a gray. It's actually gray. All of my other ones are really weird colored. So that's all for this one. See you next time.